In 2016, the Francis Crick Institute is going to open. It's a novel kind of scientific research institute designed to promote collaboration, and it itself results from a collaboration between six different partners. It's a completely new way of trying to understand how life works, and it's going to be a fantastic success. So this building is different. This is going to be big, it's going to be open plan, and it's going to be the start of new ways of work, new ways to research, lots of multidisciplinary facilities all under one roof. Collaborative papers published between people working in the same institute have a higher impact than those that are published between people working in different institutes. This building is all about how can we make things work quickly, be efficient, how can we be much more innovative about the way we approach science and research. When you do get a novel angle on things, it's usually people talking who didn't realise they had something in common until they struck up a conversation. We've taken out all of the meeting rooms from around the building and then we've concentrated them in one space. It's creating another opportunity for you to bump into different people. It may just be a chance conversation. So it's a very good one with... Sydney Brenner shared an office with Francis Crick for many, many years and they had a rule that either of them could say anything they liked, however stupid, and the other one would have to listen to it and think about it. And it was through those sorts of conversations that Francis Crick, you know, managed to do what he did. We're going to have about 1,500 scientists all collaborating from a wide range of disciplines. We're also beginning to build relationships with places like the Sanger Institute and also a variety of pharmaceutical companies as well. The great thing about the Crick is although we don't yet have the building, we're beginning to build the networks and the networks are already yielding results. By allowing research to operate at the highest possible level, it can only improve the way in which research moves into application. And I think that the trend is continuously on integrating disciplines and actually making very close connections with other academic bodies. We have the three biggest universities in London integrated into the Crick. It will really let London punch at its real weight academically and biomedically. Being able to talk to Nobel Prize winners, leading world scientists, they are going to be coming into this building. People are very keen to come because they know we're going into the Crick and it's an adventure. So Crick has managed to get a very high profile in the world community already before the building's even finished. If any institute were able to solve the problem of cancer and other diseases, it would be the Crick.